Hey, so I'm actually working on a series called Travel Your Own City. I'm not sure what will come out of it, but I will share with you as the idea that is behind it so far. So when people complain about the lack of diversity here, I have a hard time with it. I came from places that were much less diverse to begin with, but also it kind of seems like many people haven't left their self-chosen bubble of non-diverse friends, or they're looking for a specific type of person that looks and thinks and feels like they do. Which to me, if you're in a place where you can't find people that look like you or agree with you, congratulations, you've found diversity. Not only that, but I am a strong believer in the idea that we create our own culture. We choose who we surround ourselves with and we choose what that looks like. So when people complain about this, I, I do have a hard time with that. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the Tri-Cities. And before I talk about the individual cities, I'll explain that the Tri-Cities are three cities that are very closely connected. There's times when you don't for sure know which city you're actually in. They are composed, the Tri-Cities are composed of Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco. And there's little satellite cities connected to those. Since I have lived in this town, I can honestly say that I have made friends with people from all over the world. You can see behind me on this map, we've had people from over 15 different countries in our own home over for dinner or just to hang out with. But let me talk to you guys a little bit about the Tri-Cities in general. And you can decide for yourself. I'll share a little bit about the three cities and their personalities and what makes them up. And then I'll talk specifically about the diversity in each community. And remember, I've only lived here for a couple years. And this is just what I have seen and observed through going to these communities and uh, spending some time in them. So there's the three cities are Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco. Richland is wealthy. It's said that the TV show Eureka was actually inspired by Richland because there are so many engineers and scientists in this community, and it was started as a science experiment during while they were developing the atomic bomb. Many of the employees at the National Lab come from other places. There is a large Chinese and Indian population, as well as lots of Europeans. Kennewick I haven't really figured out Kennewick. It, it seems that Kennewick has several lower income areas and places where homeless people do live, but it also seems like these things are kept very hidden. The international diversity in Kennewick comes mostly from world relief. There are people from Syria, Sudan, Somalia, Iraq, Indonesia, Pakistan, Burma, and several other countries as well. It has been a wonderful experience to be able to work with these refugees and uh, get to know some of the people and most recently I've had the opportunity to co-teach an English class. I'm hoping to do that again in the fall. I've spent the least amount of time in Pasco but there's a huge Hispanic population there. But much of the Spanish-speaking population in this area comes from the field labor. There's lots of agriculture. From walking around Pasco there are areas where it actually feels like you've stepped into Mexico or another South or Central American country. There's no in very little English spoken. You go to the Mexican grocery store. There have also been days where I'll rock around Pasco and people will hand me a pamphlet in Spanish or they'll start speaking to me in Spanish. It's only when they realize that I don't speak very good Spanish or they hear my Portuguese accent when I try to speak Spanish and they either switch to English or they really struggle to communicate with me. <laughs> so as you guys can guess, when people complain about the Tri-Cities not being diverse, it's a little bit confusing for me. I know that it's not Seattle or Portland or another major metropolitan area, but if you choose to look for it or if you decide to get out and explore a little bit, you can easily find a ton of diversity within the Tri-Cities. A few of the things that you will find here are social economic status diversity, nationality, people from all over the world, different races, people with lots of different jobs and backgrounds and different cultures. There's huge age diversity, as well as different communities, different ways that these people interact. All right, so my challenge to you is if you think that your city is boring or not diverse or you don't like something about it, I challenge you to go out and find something in your city that you do like. You might not find the exact thing that you're looking for, but go try, go look, go search, go on an adventure, go for a walk in someplace new, go to a new part of town. Even if you have a neighborhood you've never gone to before, go drive to that neighborhood, park your car and walk around for an hour. There, I guarantee that there are places in your community, in your city, in a neighboring city, if you're in a super small town, that you'll find something new and adventurous, but I'm gonna leave it up to you. It's, it's your decision. If you want to go out and make your city something you love, go for it, go do something. I look forward to exploring my city and focusing in on some of these diverse areas. I have a couple ideas for specific projects and specific art pieces that I want to do and create, but uh, I will show you more of that in the future. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more. 
And if you have questions about the Tri-Cities Washington, uh, do let me know. Um, if you have a question about what diversity means to me, how I define it, uh, be sure to ask in the comments because I think it's a huge loaded word with lots of different meanings and different interpretations. I make art videos every week. This month I am doing something a little bit different. It's called Veda where I try to do a video every day. I'm going to miss a few days. I'm just going to be upfront about that. But uh, I do try to make art videos every week. Be sure to subscribe and after August the videos will slow down a lot but there will still be at least one a week.